today. This is the Nissan R390 GT1 road version. This is incredible. I, I am a... Oh, I'm so, so excited that this is finally in the game. I didn't give myself enough time to build this in the preview game. So now we're going to purchase this bundle. We're going to build the living poo, poo out of this rip. But we're going to check the vanity for... What? I am buying this tint. That is amazing. These tires as well. The vanity stuff. I like to collect it. We've got the pot. That is amazing. We've got a white underglow. And the party spark smoke. I think I'm going to buy the white underglow. Look at this window tint. That's actually really, really freaking cool. I can definitely think of some cars I'm going to use that on. I'm so, so excited. This is the road going version as well that we can hopefully have a lot of customization on. So we're going to favorite it and switch to it right now. I want to expect. Look at the bloody shape of it. It's so good. Okay, here we go, boys. Let's get it started. Oh. Interesting. It does sound uh, quite crew race car-y, I will say. Though, to be fair, I can't say I know exactly how this thing sounds or should sound. Not that I've ever experienced the driving of one. Let's get it. It sounds all right. Bit raspy. Oh, oh, did you see that little bit of a slip there? Seems like it has a bit of a chance to slide, which isn't really a thing on this game. Of course, this is standard. We've not done the upgrades to it. It turns a lot better. But the Volkswagen did, <laughs> which I think should be a given because this is indeed a hypercar vehicle. It is still very much point and shoot, but it does have a little bit of play to it. Kind of like more so like the new handling model in general, but it does give us the ability to have a bit of fun. So it starts on 233. I'm going to bump this boy up to 320 just because why Why would we not? Well, actually, I might need some new parts. Oh, I've run out. I'm going to have to steal them off another car. Maxed out 965 horses, not 16, 2.2 seconds, 279 miles an hour. This thing is a beast in. I am so ready to jump in, though, to the visual. I'm going to do it on the other menu today because I really want to see what we got. Now, color-wise, oh, actually, that re I was going to say the blue is the best, but looking through, quite honestly, I think just oh, the orange. Yeah, this car looks beautiful in pretty much every color. It's a Skittle, just like all, most of the cars I've been recently. Oh, actually, this type of blue. That actually might suit it even more. This anodized blue here. I quite like that. Let's put it on. We can always switch back. Now, if we go to delivery, there's not really going to be anything in here. This guy literally just made this, surely. Yeah, he I, literally just made this because there's no way that you... They, made, they must have made this prepared. Like, this is ridiculous. How? How? I'll take yours. Right. Let's get into it. The visual customization is why I am here. Jump it. Um. You have to be joking me. That can't be it. No way. I have waited for this car. Oh my god. We got underglows and hot. We don't even. Oh. I'm so disappointed. I'm really, really disappointed by this. I was hoping that not even wheel customization. They even need tire customization. That's bizarre. That is very bizarre. We can't even change the interior color of this car. That is one of the first times that has ever been done on this game. Or not been done, if you will. And there has to be hope. There has to be a, a, maybe an issue. Maybe maybe uh, it's supposed to have it. And maybe it's just in the house. We'll check the house, right? You're joking me. You're joking me. Ivory Tower, why would you do this to me? It must be, must be that Nissan didn't let them. Surely must be Nissan didn't let them. That's a shame. Fine. We're going to have to stick with it as it is. I think this could have been incredible, like some major ducktail wings, at least changing the wheels to something a little bit less basic, if you will. The front end could have got a nice little uh, redesign, a wide body, because it is the cruise, and an extra just butt arches coming. This could have been really, really crazy, but I guess we're stuck with as it is. Not that it's bad. <laughs> Interesting. I'm going to say Nissan did that. How could you? 
How dare you? This is a hypercar race that I have not done. Look at how the neon is kind of reflecting a little bit of the road and then onto the car almost. That is awesome. So this hypercar race, it says I've not done it yet. I don't know if that's true. Maybe the game just didn't save or something, but it's a hypercar race I have apparently not completed. Maybe it's one that I did in a summit, so I never felt the need to do it properly, but this thing is quick. Cheapest. I think the official car said it was possible to reach 220 or something. I mean, we've already kind of smashed that. They weren't sure if it actually ever managed to reach 220, but I'm going to tell you, it's quite possible in this game. We're about to hit 280, baby. And I feel like it's got more in it. Come on, come on. Stop going uphill. Go downhill a little bit. <laughs> come on, 280, 280. Tick over, tick over, tick over. 280, 281. See, I broke the record. It said it was 279. Not today, Nissan. Yeah, I, I do like this car. It's very, very cool. But because of the fact that there's no customization, to me, surely it should just be put in the hypercar class. Or is it already in the hypercar class? To be honest, <laughs> I'm not sure. But we got the road version of it, which made me think there was going to be customization. It's brake caliber. Technically, technically, there is customization. We could put neons on it, a horn, and brake caliper. I just went 287 miles an hour, and I just did not pay attention. What on earth? Oh, just jump over. I'm like a Paul Walker in the skyline. Very nice. Very cool. Very quick, boy. <laughs> it feels so much better. The issue of it, like, losing a little bit of control, as I was saying before, completely gone. Completely. No, none of, the, none of that. In the toilet. It's fixed itself up. The tire upgrades. Honestly, it did have quite a lengthy upgrade path compared to a lot of the other hypercars. A lot of the other hypercars recently have been starting at the highest rank possible. Bit of off-road. Bit of a kiss on that traffic car there. Please stay out my way. 35 seconds ahead of everybody. Now, nah, this is a good car. This is a good car. Just a shame about the customization. I must say that because if it's a hypercar or streetcar in the crew, the first thing I want to do is make it look stupid. Not stupid, but in reality, I make it look like how I would like it to look like. That's the point. Like, it's an RPG. It's a car PG, as they were saying for the first game. Without now the customization of the character element of it. I, I need more customers. I would rather a car with more customizations. All right, give me some parts. Should be some more 320s to slap on some of the some future cars. And we're back into the daylight. Wow. Experience, eh? What an experience. Would I recommend this vehicle? Of course, I, I'm going to say yes. In the crew, vehicles are quite easy, or money is quite easy to come by. Uh, do a day of grinding and you get this pack super easy. Not even a day of grinding, like I'd say three, four hours of doing long races, which aren't the quickest way to make money, and you can probably get this pack pretty easily. But what I recommend going out of the way to pay crew credits for it, 290, 290. Oh, I'm drafting. That would be why I went 300 miles an hour. What the flying heck was happening there? How am I holding 290? What is going on with this car? That is bizarre. We're going to draft with this man. Oh, it's one of the reasons I love the crew. You just have a nice... <laughs> oh, we killed him! To see a nice drive with randomers, but I did just destroy that man. I'm gaining on this guy. Holy crap! 290 and I'm not drafting. That is pretty mental. But there we go. That's what it is. It's a uh, bit disappointing, but... Hey, it's a it's a pretty quick car, and I'm definitely going to be one of my rosters. I am a, uh, quite a Nissan fanboy, so for me, if we can smash some Bugattis with this, there's a Huracan there. Not quite a Bugatti, but cheapest. I cleared the way for you, mate. I think he still crashed. So let me know your thoughts on this car. Are you picking it up? I'd love to know, because. Uh, if I'd watched content on it, I, I still would have picked it up myself personally. I'm going reverse. This track is just com is completely off what it's supposed to be. It's so funny. Uh, but yeah, I, I just think that... I don't know. I was, I was hoping that we could get some crazy wings, some crazy wide body. Very, very crew style. 
I hope hope that maybe they'll add that in the next game. I doubt that it'd be something they'd update for this game, but to get cars that don't really you wouldn't really customize to have options like this. But again, I we don't know who's to blame and all that, but in terms of how it drives, it drives really, really well. It drives kind of like, more like the GT cars than the road going cars, which is very cool. It feels mixed kind of normal hypercar mixed with touring car. I feel like they've just played around with it a little bit, if that makes sense. But no, I'm very, I'm very happy with it. It does slide a little bit more than a touring car should or would, but... Some of them do. I do kind of wish we could change the red interior because it does make me think that the car should mostly be in red. It does sound like a race car, actually. You can hear it. Nissan, this is a dirty car. How dare you say that this is a road car? That's a lot. Ah! Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new. I will see you in the next video. There's going to be a lot of crew ones for the next while, as you can probably tell. Until next time, peace. Oh!